Hello and welcome to the tutorial on negative numbers. In this tutorial we are going to do numbers before and after from minus 20 to plus 20. So let's look at the positive numbers to begin with. Let's suppose we have this number 14 and we want to work out what is the number after 14. Well we don't need the grid for this we've done this many times before so you'll know that the answer is 15. The number after 14 is 15 and let's use the number grid we are 14 and notice how we drew the arrow from 14 to the next one 15. All the numbers after go in this direction go towards the right that is after. Now let's have a look at the negative numbers. Suppose we have this number minus 12. So we've got minus 12 and we want to work out what number comes after minus 12. Now you're probably thinking the answer is minus 13. Well let's have a look at our grid. Here is minus 12, the number after we have to go to the right is the arrow has to go in the, in the same way. It is minus 11. Now did you see how we did that? We went from minus 12 to minus 11. That is the number after minus 12. Now let's have a look at the numbers before. Now suppose we have this number 18 and we want to work out what number comes before 18. Now again you'll know this because we've done this before let's have a look at our number grid. We've got 18 and we're just going to change colors for this. We've got 18 and we are going one before. The number before is look at the purple arrow it is 17 because all the numbers before go in this direction. Okay now we're going to look at one of the negative numbers. Now let's suppose we have minus 15. So we got number minus 15 and we want to work out which number comes before minus 15. So what number comes before minus 15? Again we're going to switch to purple and don't forget we have to move back we have to move to the left so from minus 15 over here we have to move back the answer is minus 16. So the number before minus 15 is minus 16. So that is how we work out numbers before and after when we are using negative numbers. Picture this number grid in your mind when you are working this out when you do not or cannot draw the number grid. Once you've got it in your mind you'll be able to work it out very, very easily.